Mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, sisters and brothers, friends for life won't live in the past. All I wanna do now is making it last. Mothers and fathers, sisters... It's time for another conversation, and this time around, we're going to be talking about how can one ensure the feelings of each other is validated during a disagreement. And to talk to me, we're, we're going international, people. To talk to me today, I have Donna Gordon in Grenada via Skype. She's a marriage and family therapist, producer of the Donna Gordon Family Show, and director of Gordon's Psychological Services. Welcome, Donna. Thank you. So before we get into the conversation, Donna, tell me when you talk, if you're thinking in terms of married couples or this is just going to be relationships in general so people have a context. Yeah, relationships in general. Okay, okay. All right, so with that being said, how can one ensure that the feelings of each other is validated during a disagreement? To ensure that each other's feelings are validated, mm -hmm. we need to have what we call a you map. Um, meaning you are intentionally thinking about the other person okay. and, and how you want to listen to the other person. So before you speak, you're actually thinking, if I say certain things, how will the person receive the message that I want to send? Will they receive the message and feel angry? Will mm -hmm. they receive the message and misinterpret what I'm saying. So we must, in our minds, create what we call a you map to ensure okay. that you are thinking of the other person. Okay. Now, somebody's listening down and they're saying, but when I'm in the heat of this disagreement, whatever form it takes, how, how practical is it for me to be thinking of the other person when I just want to just, I just want to hear my grosses? Right. A lot of times people... When they get into arguments, mm -hmm. they just want to say their piece. Mm -hmm. But we need to stop and think, what's the objective? What am I trying to, to reach? What, am I, what do I want to solve? What do I want to say? And if you become aware of this and like, okay, I need to meet an objective. Mm -hmm. I want to be heard and mm -hmm. I want the situation to be changed or I want to be understood, then when you start feeling the emotion of anger, mm -hmm. you will actually ask for time out. You will deliberate, be deliberate in your thinking, mm -hmm. not allowing your emotions to override you, but to stay in your prefrontal cortex mm. where you're... Miss, miss, big you words, big words. Mm -hmm. You're using big words there, miss. Break it down for us, please. So your prefrontal cortex <laughs> is the, the, the front of your brain that you use to make decisions. Mm -hmm. While, while if we use um, our brainstem, where, you know, the amygdala is between the prefrontal cortex and, and the back of our brains, okay. we can, um, we, we, then the emotions override us because okay. this is what I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel it, so I, I need to let it out. But mm. when we do that, we tend to become irrational in the things we are saying, and you're just saying stuff. And then you're still not understood and you're still not heard. So so what you said earlier, you said that we need to create what you call a U map. This is a Y-O-U? Yes. Right. Y-O-U so, -U -U map. map. How is that done? So when, when, you, when you have a, a decision to make or mm -hmm. you're in an, in an altercation, you mm -hmm. have an argument, mm -hmm. to create a U map, you have to start thinking, okay, what am I hurt about? What am I upset about? Mm -hmm. So first of all, you intentionally write that down. Write down what you're upset mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Write down what you want to achieve when you speak to this person. And then you involve the person in your thought processes. Like, if I say it this way, how will the person perceive my information? Mm -hmm. Or how will the person feel when I say certain things. So in that way, you become deliberate in creating the you map. Mm, okay. So you started, out, when I asked you the questions, the first thing you mentioned was the you map. And you said that we must intentionally listen 
and of course, think yeah. of the possible impact on the UMAP. What next should we do in terms of ensuring that this validation takes place? So when you when you begin, so first we we create we ask ourselves mm -hmm. what will the person say, how will the person receive this, and then you want the person you want to come to a solution. So your okay. solution would be how can we fix this? So you mm -hmm. you create the U map as mm -hmm. to how they're going to receive the message, and then you create the we map like how are we going to fix this. So that will help each person to be heard because you're becoming intentional about how you're going about to solve the situation. Hmm. So how <laughs> this sounds, it sounds good. It sounds mm -hmm. doable. But how, how do we encourage people to do that when it isn't? It is your natural inclination to do any of these things, to think of the other person, then think of yourselves. Usually we do it the other way around. That's true. Mm -hmm. And so that is why the word intentional, uh, intentional is critical to, to, to your helping to validate each other's feelings. Mm -hmm. Because when you're intentional, then you're going to take control of your feelings, process what you feel, and then think of how rational I can remain. Because in solving a problem, each person must feel safe. If you're not feeling safe, mm. then you're not going to solve the problem. Because in the back of the person's mind, they're going to say, you know, he doesn't care or she doesn't care. Mm. You're just being a hypocrite or you just want to say your piece and you do that all the time. Mm. But over a period of time, if you become intentional, when you get angry, ask for time out. Be it your girlfriend, mm -hmm. meaning girl and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Be it your, 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 your Sabbath school teacher. Be it your, your teacher at school. Be mm -hmm. it whoever it is. Mm -hmm. If you become intentional about how you can reach the other person and how you want to be heard, then you'll... Le this will lead you in creating an atmosphere of security. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I loved what you said about the whole idea of, of feeling safe, because it's when you feel safe, that is when you, you're, you can then let your, your, your guard down, so to speak, and be vulnerable. That's True? right. True. That's right. True. That's right. Because when you, when you can become vulnerable, it means you are trusting the person and know that even if you get into another argument, they will not use what you have said to hurt mm. you. Mm. Mm. How, how do you ensure that you, how do I say this? I could be listening and I'm saying, is it every single feeling that I have? Do I need to process every single thing, especially during a disagreement? Or is it that there are some things I should just make slide just, for, just to ensure that we have peace or to come to a, 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 a quick resolution of the matter? No, whatever okay. you're feeling at the time, process what you feel. And that's why you ask for time out. Mm. Because when the feelings um, get in the way... so. The feelings must be justified. So, and even if you're having a conversation and you say, you know what, I feel angry. The other person mm -hmm. can say, I sense that you're angry or I'm also feeling angry. Do you want us to take a time out mm -hmm. and let's meet back together? Mm -hmm. So both of you are validating what you feel. And this is going to help to create the security that we need. Do you, do you think there's a stark contrast in terms of females and their relationships with each other and then males and how, how, how they relate to each other? Meaning, as females, we are quick to want to process what's happening. Males aren't necessarily that keen on doing that. So do you see that there might be a challenge in terms of even just males validating the feelings of each other during a disagreement? Males, males also will be able to validate. It's just that mm -hmm. for males, mm -hmm. they will, they will be, um, 
they will think through what they want to do first. Mm, okay. So, so they, they naturally, that is why if they, ha they have a disagreement, most times they tend to become very quiet. Hmm. And hmm. It, when they're in relationships, if, if the female doesn't understand that, mm. then she might start thinking, oh, he's mad with me. He doesn't want to talk to me. And, and that is why I can't stand him. But no, mm -hmm. if you understand the male, mm -hmm. he will he will withdraw. Okay. He will either become very silent mm -hmm. or he might take himself away from the situation mm -hmm. and then he will come back. But most times when he comes back to have a conversation, the female misunderstands him mm. and it turns into a quarrel and he again withdraws and shuts down. Mm. Mm, okay, okay. So it's just at, well, a different in approach, and we just have to be mindful of that then. That's right. If you're aware of how males and females think, mm -hmm. then it makes it easier for you to handle the, the, the situations. Okay, okay. So, so we're talking about how can one ensure the feelings of each other is validated during a disagree disagreement. Is there anything else you want to add? You spoke about the whole idea of a you map and a we map. Is there anything else that you want to add? Just always be specific about the emotion, identifying the emotion that you're feeling, um, and justify each other's emotions. Don't say um, you don't have any right to feel that way. You don't need to tell the person they have no right because you, you don't know what they're feeling or what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. So let them experience the emotion, validate it, say, yes, I... I'm, I'm recognizing that you're upset and it's okay. It's fine. Take your time. Or I recognize you are sad. Do you need some time? And then we can regroup to discuss the situation. One quick thing as we're wrapping up though, Donna, you know that what you just said, there's some people, if, if it is that you stop in a disagreement, you say to some, some individuals, they'll be like, stop patronizing me. Let me just talk. So how do you work against that I, again mm -hmm. hmm, this is so much right mm -hmm. especially especially for how we were brought up mm -hmm. um your 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 home of origin yes. and how you were taught to, to ju you just see people just just talk right. they just express whatever comes to their mm -hmm. mind mm -hmm. and and so sometimes you you grow up and you feel suppressed and you grow up as an adult, you're now an adult, and you're still being suppressed. Mm -hmm. Because each time you try to express yourself, somebody says, Grenadians would say, stupid -y. Ja Jamaicans would say, you're, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. um, you, you don't have no sense. Mm -hmm. um, and so you feel crushed. Mm -hmm. But we have to develop very strong self-awareness. Yes. Be, be aware of who you are and and be confident about you. And if you're confident with self and loving yourself, then you know there are some things you will not take. That's right. And you don't need to be rude about mm -hmm. this. You need to be assertive, but not aggressive. Yeah. So say how you feel and let the other person know this is important to you. And if the other person cares about you in any way, then they will validate you now. Stick up in. Mm -hmm. You're in a professional world. And they are supposed to care about you at work. <laughs> but okay. most times, mm -hmm. childhood, the past of the childhood is like a plague that comes to cloud your mind. Mm. And the person is speaking down to you as they were spoken down to mm -hmm. when they were younger. Again, they may never hear you. But you can still speak calmly and boldly about how you feel. Yeah. They may never say sorry to you. They may mm -hmm. never apologize mm -hmm. to you. But you must be empowered enough to be able to say, this is how I feel. I felt yeah. angry. Yeah. I felt frustrated. I felt disrespected. And I will not stand for this. Yeah. And say your piece and be happy when you would have done that. That's right. Thank you so much, Donna. Yes. All right. It was a pleasure being on your show.
<laughs> Thank you so much. And you will be back. Trust me, you will be back. This was okay. Making It Last Podcast. I'm your host, Noreen Daly. Until next time. Mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, sisters and brothers, friends for life won't live in the past. All I want to do now is making it last.